So um, we're going to give you some tips for my auto dealer friends out there. And really, it's to focus in on uh, what they're doing, what they, you know, a lot of people don't like going into a dealership for a lot of reasons. I mean, this is nothing new that uh, has been into play. It, it's been around forever, and you always dread that time when you're going to go into a dealership. And typically, uh, an average car buyer, um, and I'm giving you tips, so don't uh, dog me and, um, and we're just going to decline that for now. But I'm going to give you some tips on uh, how you would do this properly. You know, this is for my auto dealer friends out there. Of course, 2019, we're launching a whole new auto dealership platform. And it's really going to change the auto dealership all around. How we buy cars, how we shop for cars. And this particular video we're talking about in this live, we got YouTube over here. I'm talking about the online experience and really how to make the online experience better for a from the dealership side to the consumer side because we spend uh, sorry about that we spend a lot of time uh, focusing in on buying uh, a vehicle and we'll spend on average three hours at a dealership now if the paperwork isn't prepared ahead of time um, then you can spend up to six hours. We've all been right there. We've sat in a dealership and we're waiting for the paperwork to be completed. And, you know, there was nothing that you could do online prior to that. Now, there is companies out there. One of them's an Uber company that's coming along called FAIR. And FAIR is a company that is helping change the world on the car buying experience. So, assuming the buyer sticks around to buy the car, it's going to be a three to six hour experience. So we're going to talk about the F and I, and F and I is the financing part of things, and the car dealerships are going to understand this. So this is going out to this can be shared to my auto dealership friends in the groups and everything else. But uh, so just to talk to you about the different generations, eighty percent of of parents with children would rather uh, do anything else unpleasant than go buy a car. That's 80% of the people. So what does that say about the car buying experience? 56% of the millennials, we know who the millennials are, would rather clean their house. And now we've got the X generation, which is a totally different generation, a totally different way of thinking. And now, 24% of those X gens would rather get a root canal than go buy a car. And I just had a root canal, it is no fun. And that takes a few hours and it is no fun at all. So what does that, what does that say about the car buying experience? What we're doing this year, we're implementing different ways to improve that and make it a better experience so people can really buy a vehicle online that high ticket item online people are doing it so I want to talk to you about four simple steps that these dealerships can do from the online aspects for online sales so number one is put a menu online 80% of car buyers will be using different devices to shop for cars two out of three customers are adding big ticket items to their carts already. So these are items that are thousands and thousands of dollars. So in the car buying experience, uh, why not have a, an availability to put a $5,000 deposit on a vehicle or $10,000 deposit on a vehicle and make it more convenient so when you go into the dealership, if you have to go into the dealership, unlike Carvana where they deliver, then it's a quicker experience. My last vehicle, I bought a Range Rover. I did everything through text messages, and I literally walked in 15 minutes later. Steve Landers in Arkansas, Little Rock, incredible dealership. Uh, they did a great job. 15 minutes, my sales guy, no pressure. Now, 
there there's different situations you know 70 percent of consumers said they want to start their f and i process online so they want to start their financing online and get it going get that process going because you got to remember if you do it in the dealership it's going to take hours and more than 60 percent of them are more likely to purchase F&I products, which is your gap insurance and different things online if they're given that opportunity. So car dealerships have the opportunity to close more deals and that increases what they call their PVR and increases their sales and it gives a better experience online. So why would a dealership not want to do that? They're starting to improve things but they're not implementing it on a nationwide deal. So what I'm saying to you is if you're an auto dealership and you have an online menu where you can do F&I and do a deposit and even buy the vehicle outright online, that is going to make a better car buying experience and you will get more sales because your reviews are going to go up, everything else. Number two, make smarter recommendations. While it's important to let buyers know all their options, provide them a lot of detail. One, you know, one time leads to, uh, because too much information leads to information overload. So if you give them all this information, it's gonna, they're, they're just gonna go away because you can give too much information. Grant Cardone was a person that spoke a lot at dealerships. And sometimes it's a lack of information, why you're not gonna get the sale. And a lot of times it's too much information, it's information overload. So remember, you want, 70% of people want to start that F&I process online right away. So if you can do that, that's gonna improve your sales. So package the deal, the typical F&I process can be both intimidating and frustrating because remember that you have to go into the F&I's uh, office and you've already negotiated a price but then they start adding gap insurance they start adding warranties they start adding all these different things wheel protection this protection interior protection it's crazy what they have out there and what that leads is to frustration it's a sneaky process it's typically a process that you know where they add in taxes and shipping charges and everything else over top the agreed price so instead of doing that have a process online and like kind of like adding accessories to the vehicle when they're buying the vehicle and make it a fun process for the car buyer make it a process that people are going to love and they're going to enjoy the process so take the next steps to be more successful by doing these online things and use these three strategies because this is going to create a seamless e-commerce uh, opportunity to generate more sales on your website, increase your PVR probably by five to $700. So that's per vehicle. So if you'd like more information, reach out to me if you're a dealership. Um, I would like to talk to you. I'll give you a free consultation. Stop thinking it's still 1950 because our generation is changing. And if you don't change, you're going to be left out in the cold like Toys R Us shut down in 2017. So I appreciate it. It's Fearless Friday. Go out this weekend. Be fearless. Go out this Friday. Be fearless. And uh, have a great evening.